Hello everyone, welcome into my craft space. It's Shauna and today um, I was asked to do a video talking about where I get some of my sales for my crafting supplies. Hi Becky in Texas, this one is for you. I know right now a lot of people are doing Hobby Lobby hauls because they had some major clearance and I did hit that up. Um, I'm not going to show you guys everything I bought, but I'll show you some of the sales. So these were paper packs that they had. Uh, original price $5.99, sale price $1.49. And why these are great is because you get like everything you need for one theme. Um, especially if you make mini books or if you're just working on some pages. Uh, so you get all of these great supplies. Um, 10 12 by 12 scrapbook papers, one cardstock sticker sheet, one cardstock alpha sheet, and one 3D embellishment sticker sheet. All for $1.49 and with some great themes. Uh, this one here um, is like a, I don't know, Paris inspired one. Just had some really cute papers though. You could use it for a little girly page or whatever. And then there's this one. This one's called Marguerite, my sweet. I really love this hummingbird. This one is Vintage Varsity. Has this roller skate, some really great papers, and some ephemera. This one has 31 die cut shapes. So that's really cool. And then this one was Funky Animals. And it has uh, really cute little die cut shapes in there too. Pieces of ephemera, some great papers and stickers and everything coordinates. So that's really great. Um, makers, bakers and crafters in this one. So it has some really cute little ephemera pieces that I thought were really cute. And all for $1.49. You guys, that's like not much over dollar store prices. So um, really great deals on those at Hobby Lobby's clearance sale that they just had. I did also get some paper packs there that were some pretty good deals. Um, but if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, what is a girl to do? You still need to get some deals and stuff too. So what I like to do, I used to own a scrapbook store um, several years ago. So what makes sense to me is to figure out the brands that you like. Um, I really love Simple Stories. I really like Echo Park paper. Um, I love Sizzix. So I go to those companies' websites and get on their emailing list. The reason why is because sometimes they have great warehouse sales. Um, Sizzix had an 80% off sale, um, which made die cuts prices like 2 and $3 a piece, which was just amazing. Um, there is a little bit of a catch. If you want free shipping, most of them want you to spend about $50 to get free shipping. But if you don't care about free shipping, you just want to buy a couple of things, you can do that too. So my most recent purchase from a company is Simple Stories, and their website is simplestories.com. Uh, let's see, we'll zoom in over here so you can see that, simplestories.com. And what they had was a warehouse box. So my box came in the mail the other day and I thought we would open it together. I did purchase a few extra things because I wanted the free shipping. So they offered um, some page kits that I thought were really great. These are really fun. Um, I don't remember how much these were right at the moment, but um, so this one I also purchased as well. This is uh, Magical Memories style. And you have enough product in here to make four pages, it says. Create two double page scrapbook layouts. So if you're a scrapbooker, this is definitely fun. I still am. Um, so these were the only two things I bought additionally. What was cool about this sale is that um, it was already a sale because it was a warehouse box. So when you get a warehouse box, it's all these things that they put in. Sometimes they're mystery boxes and you're not totally sure what you're going to get. Other times it's one basic box that everybody's going to get the same thing of. Um, and that's mostly what this one was. What was really cool was the box is normally $49.99. And then they did an additional discount on that. So it made it 40 bucks for this whole box of goodies. Um... And they did show you a peek of the stuff that was in there on a video first. So um, let's just go through and see what we've got here. 
this one is snap cards. So these are kind of like Project Life cards, but you can use them in junk journals for journaling, for little tags. You can make tags out of them. You can cut them up and use them as ephemera. Um, you can use them as your photo mats. So lots of fun things there. This one is layered frames. So these would be really fun for layering on pages in a junk journal. This one is the theme, My Valentine, and it's uh, like a vintage, I think it says. So these are all the ones that you get. Four by six sticker book. So that's really cute. Looks like it's birthday themed. Magical birthday. Oh, it looks like there's two of them in here. Magical birthday and birthday blast. So that's fun. Then I got some clear stamps. And again, all of this was 40 bucks. So um, the only bad thing about doing these is that it takes your, whatever your spending budget is and puts a lot of it in one place. So, but as you can see, I got a variety of things. So this one looks like it is some washi some a stencil, and then some little ephemera pieces. And these are pretty generic, so birthday is a good theme you can use for just about anything. And this one looks like it's confetti dots and some stripes, and then some rockets on the washi there. Some chipboard stickers. And these are uh, birthday blast is the theme of this one, but you could use it for other stuff like um, a little boy like, or something like you're out of this world or blast off. You could just do a page with hip hip hooray for something that you're celebrating. There's a high, make a wish, fun. So you can use these for a lot of other things than just birthday. Like this one says it's your day. So it could be some special day or whatever you're doing. Something you're celebrating. And this one is magical birthday. So again, same thing, you could do magical if you're doing like a unicorn theme or whatever, a little girl theme, party, girl, smile, wish. Lots of fun there. Ooh, and then we get into this kit, which is really cool. Let's see, I need some place to set all of this stuff. Okay, so this one is, um, there's chipboard stickers, there's bits and pieces in here. It says, journal bits and pieces. These, so these are just ephemera packs. Um, one is farmhouse and one is fall farmhouse. Looks like this is just kind of a random grab bag. There's, ooh, these are really pretty. Um, simple vintage botanicals is the theme of this one. And it's all the Simple Stories brand. So when you order from the warehouse, if it's one specific company, usually you will get um, everything that's just their brand. It's their sale of their stuff that's in stock. Sometimes they'll do that if they need to clear some product out or if they're bringing some new things in. Um, so if you're looking for the latest and the greatest, sometimes that's not what's in these packages, um, but it is still pretty great. And if you haven't been caught up on their you know, newest product lines, it is a way to get some really great stuff. Um, I'm super excited to use these. I don't know, let's check out the papers that are in here. I didn't realize it had that vintage botanicals in there, it's so pretty. Let's see if there's more of that paper. Oop. I think I just lost a roll of washi down there. I gotta get it before the dog does. Yep, there it is. Okay, saved. Okay, so I think these are even stickers, which, yeah, they're cardboard stickers. So this is awesome. I don't have to try to do any fussy cutting. Um, so that's really great. Ooh, some summer fun stuff. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, summer lovin', that's fun. That's not, oh, and they're double-sided papers, so that's nice. If you don't like these little cutouts, then you can use the, the pattern paper on the back. Ooh, little flip-flops, that's fun. Ah, here's another piece from that Simple Vintage Botanicals collection. Just some colored sheets there. I think I'm gonna put it with that other sticker so that I know they go together. Sunshine and Blue Skies is the name of this collection and that was the one with the summer and the flip-flops. Very cute. This one is called Spring Farmhouse. These are really pretty papers. 
fall farmhouse. So got some of those papers. And you know what's really great is that these will coordinate with some of the Echo Park papers that I got. Um, sunshine and blue skies. So this one goes back with that uh, summer stuff. There we go. More fall farmhouse. These are really pretty. Oh, I like this one. Cute. And this one's fall farmhouse. So these will be fun to play with. Winter farmhouse. Oh, this is nice. Winter farmhouse. Very cute. I like this one too. Ah, oh, yay! There is more of the simple vintage botanicals. Look at how beautiful. This will be so fun. And then it has those great stickers that I got at the front there. And this is another one. Ooh, I like this. It's got some little insects here. Looks like some writing, florals. That will make a really pretty journal. This one's called Oh Happy Day Collection. Just some solid colors there. Spring farmhouse. Lots of great little snippets. I love using these. I use them in a lot of my um, a lot of my projects. Oh happy day. It looks like oh happy day was just some really bright fun colors. Okay, this one is more winter farmhouse. Oh look, it's got the little red truck. A lot of my friends really like this little red truck some snowflakes and then um, as I said you get chipboard stickers and then it has these two packs of ephemera I think one was for uh, winter farmhouse and then um, fall farmhouse and it comes with all of these cute little pieces in there so this was just one bundle kit that they had inside of here and then there's more still more stuff and all of the stuff in this box was 40 bucks um like i said i didn't get to pick it out um but that's okay i'm totally okay with that because there's so many great things in here so this one is uh their say cheese four collection so it is um, inspired by doing all of those pictures of that wonderful, lovely Disney place in California that I really miss so much. Um, but I have so many pictures, so this will be great for me. And then it looks like this one is another mystery pack. We'll go through that in a second. This one is the um, Say Cheese 4, and it's the whole paper pad. So you get 48 sheets of paper. And then this one is a Halloween collection pack. What's this? Oh, happy day. This is more of that. So these are solid papers here. So you get six 12 by 12 basic solid papers. Um, so those will come in handy with some other things I'm working on. So let's see, where were we? I'll put this back in here. Let's check out what is in this one. It is. It looks like it's all holiday. There's um, uh, Halloween and Christmas. Boy. Sorry for the crinkling. Let's see. Let's take it out of here. So it looks like there is some bits and pieces. It looks like 62 pieces and they're Halloween and these are all the ones that you get. And it looks like 61 pieces for this Holly Jolly collection, so Christmas. And then there's some paper bows on clips. Those are really cute. And really those could be used in spring or Christmas because I mean, the colors, there is some red and green in there, but florals and whatever you could use that for for something else and these are numbers so that's kind of fun if you're doing like um it's the country christmas collection but if you're doing like five days of christmas or if you're doing an advent calendar or december daily those would come in really handy uh so these are the snap cards you get 48 pieces and it's in this country 
uh, Christmas collection, Simple Vintage. And you get all these cards. And you can use them like Project Lifestyle. Or you can use them in journals. You can make tags out of them. Um, all kinds of fun things to do. So this one is the Holly Jolly collection. I don't know if it's the whole collection, but this page is from there. Ooh, pretty papers on the back. I love this with the Holly. And this one is that same collection too. Some dots on the back, looks like presents. There's some red plaid. And some pretty florals with the Holly. And now it looks like we are into the Happy Haunting collection. So here's some chipboard stickers. I like these a lot. This would be really cute for a Halloween a little junk journal. I'll put this on the cover. I like this. Don't forget to use your branding strips because they put the papers up there. Like, hey, boo, that's really fun. Ooh, this is cute. So it's got all the little squares. These make perfect little tabs or flips in junk journals. I love doing that with these. Again, look at this cute branding strip. Some really cute little papers. Stars and stripes. Some funky eyeballs. This one is uh, from Say Cheese Halloween, so it looks like it's a different collection, but oh, how cute. Look at the balloons. This would be really cute if you're doing some uh, Disney pages. You could use this for like Haunted Mansion. And again, I love this branding strip. I always try to pay attention to the branding strips. Oh, this is so cute. And it looks like the bottom ones are from Country Christmas. So back to Christmas. I love the branding strip up here again. The poinsettia is really cute. Oh, there's more poinsettias. I love that. Some Christmas trees. And this one has all the numbers, so you could actually do like the whole month if you wanted to. And some deer. And another way to do the deer. Looks like a vintage Santa bear. And then um, it looks like you get more of this Happy Haunting collection here. So um, lots of papers. It says this is a 92 pieces in this kit. So um, it looks like that's what it is, is the whole kit. So you get their ephemera packs. Oh, right here. It says 12 sheets of double-sided designer cards like paper. Four element sheets, two sizes two by two, three by four, four by four, and four by six, and one 12 by 12 sheet of combo cardstock stickers, including 80 stickers. So that's what's all in here. And then of course we have those other coordinating pieces that were from that other collection there. And then of course, this is one of my favorites. Um, I have so many pictures from trips to Disney uh, that I need to get scrapbooked. So. Um, and I've been making a couple journals too, so that's fun. So these will definitely come in handy. I will use them up just like that. Um, I'll put a picture at the end of the video um, of an ad that I got from Echo Park Paper. There, um, let's see. They do these cute little paper packs. Um, so their logo looks like this. And this was one of the pads that I got. They had um, a great sale. They are still having a sale. If you are watching this um, right before, they're having a Memorial Day sale in 2021. Um, so they have lots of, they, they will do their six by six pads on sale. And uh, like I said, I will do their photo that I got in my email at the end of this video. So um, definitely check out their website. They do sales. None of this, I don't have affiliate links for any of this or anything. I don't, I don't make anything off of this, um, but this is just some of the places where I shop and get things from um, when I try to save some, some money. Um, Tuesday morning is a place I definitely used to shop for discounts, but we don't have one anymore. There's only four in Washington State, and the nearest one to me is almost three hours away. So it's a real treat when I get to go there, but definitely not very often. 
Um, so I definitely rely on these manufacturers having sales and I really enjoy when they do something like this warehouse box, especially when they put it all together and uh, offered an even greater discount on everything. So um, yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, there's lots of places online to do shopping. I know um, Peachy Cheap is one place that some people shop from and A Cherry on Top is another place. Um, great websites that you can get some great discounts from. So check it out if you have other places where you can uh, get some discounts that you know of. Go ahead and leave them in the comments box below um, and share, share the discounts. Uh, everybody likes to get a great deal. So I hope you guys are crafting and able to save some money and have a great rest of the weekend. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and seeing everything in my warehouse box, please give it a big thumbs up, share this video with your friends and like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.